Hello guys and welcome back to Son of a Gun. It's been about seven months that I had uploaded a proper video in our channel and I would like to apologize for the same. I was away sailing and got held up with some competitive exams. Now that all of it is behind me, you could expect quality videos on a regular basis on our channel. That being said, kindly subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of the videos related to vintage Royal Enfield bullets. Coming back to the point, I hope you all are familiar with our ongoing Finding the Perfect G2 series. What I've got today is the 10th episode of the segment and I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be the best of them all and the very first 4K resolution video of our channel. The motorcycle understudy belongs to a very dear friend of mine, Aditya from Pune. This particular 1954 model used to be a YouTube sensation when the previous owner, Mr. Om Tapasvi, would literally take her for a ride, if you know what I mean. If you would ask me what I look for in a vintage motorcycle, my first answer would be grace. And if it is grace and elegance that you look for, you are at the right place. This machine has been restored as an exemplary masterpiece and the video would speak better than my words. So, without any further introduction, let's quickly proceed.
Hello guys, my name is Aditya Bhinkar. I belong to Pune in the state of Maharashtra and uh, this is my 1954 Royal Enfield G2. As most of you may already recognize from the number, Mr. Om Tapaswi was the initial owner of this motorcycle and he had restored it and uh, this was a very popular machine, uh, this still is. I had the fortune and the good luck of purchasing this machine from the owner who purchased it from Om Tapaswi and uh, I broke the entire motorcycle down and uh, restored it in my own style. I will tell you a little bit about the history of this particular G2 bullet. Uh, this was imported from England to India in 1954 and as per the records, uh, from 1954 to 1956 this uh, vehicle served in the Indian military and in 1956 it was registered for civilian use. So, if we count back from today, this machine is almost 66 years old and still doing extremely well. So I purchased this machine from a businessman in Bangalore. I got it to Pune and then we knocked down the entire motorcycle and uh, we tried accumulating and gathering as much original spare parts as possible and it took me about 6 to 8 months to gather all the original spare parts and uh, rebuild this machine from scratch. One of the many highlights or changes that are particularly incorporated in this machine is a short clip Delco from 1959. As you know, a short Delco is capable of providing twice the current that a regular Delco provides, which adds to the overall ride quality 
and the efficiency of the machine. There were many parts which were quite hard to gather uh, and it took me a lot of efforts, it took me a lot of patience and waiting to gather all the spare parts. One of them was the Delco, as I already told you, the short clip Delco, though procured, took me a lot of time, long time to set it well and for the bike to function well on it. But once all the machine was running into sync, it was smooth as butter. The second part which was quite hard to procure was the Royal Enfield monogram. This is actually a reproduction of the 1950s Constellation motorcycle and uh, I imported it from Hitchcock Motorcycles UK a couple of months back. Most of you guys must have seen uh, Om Tapasvi's uploaded video of the UPS and the US to comparing the Amal carburetors. And like all of you bullet enthusiasts, I was a big fan of those videos and I always dreamt and hoped that one day I would be the proud owner of the UPS 9728 and I think luck and the Enfield gods were kind upon me that I came upon the ownership upon this motorcycle and this is truly a valued treasure and I would like to cherish it, use it well and pass on to the generations to follow. Thank you so much. We have come towards the end of today's episode. I hope you all have liked it. Kindly post your valuable feedback in the comment section. Thanks for watching Son of a Gun.